hello everybody. Welcome back to Shine Like a Diamond. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Or Thursday. Oh my goodness. It's Thursday today. <laughs> um, sometimes the time goes by so fast. Um, I have <clears throat> I have two packages here to open today. Um, and to be completely honest, I don't know where they're from or what they are. Every so often I come across a painting that um, I just really, really like, really want, or I just really want to try out like the company. Um, sorry, I'm just going to bring my camera up just a tad there. Um, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get into these, see what they are, um, because I am curious myself. And I've had them for a little bit, but I haven't... Um, but it, I just haven't had the time to open them. And honestly, there are certain companies I make the time. I don't care how busy I am. I'm going to do it. If I don't even know what it is, it's easier for me to be like, I'll get to it when, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so this one is from Hua Can. I do remember now. Um, I really liked this image. I am not a fan of Hua Can. Um, I've never had good experiences with them. So... But I liked this image. I wanted to give them a try because I haven't tried them in a long time. And from what I've heard, they have gotten better. And so I figured, hey, I'm going to try um, with their square drills. That's what I've always had a problem with. Uh, with just a little image. That way, I'm not stuck into making a big old painting that the drills are driving me crazy. And that way I'm not spending a ton of money on something that I might just chuck in the garbage if it doesn't end up working out. So, it is a smaller little snack size painting um, from Who Can. In their um, kits, you get, let me just move this over. All right, you're gonna get this tray, which is a white tray. This is like, I would call this a medium because if you wanna see like, there's that one, but it's not quite as big as, let's say, I got drills in this one, but it's not quite as big as this one. So I would call this like a medium tray. It doesn't have a funnel and it also doesn't have um, like an edge here where you can um, pour them out. So you have to be careful that way, but you know, just have to be careful. Also, you get two pink things of what? of wax which I mean I don't know how much wax they think you're gonna need this painting is not that big but whatever um then we got a single placer with a squishy squishy which is nice then we've got a pair of the nice heavy duty good tweezers again like I always say these are sharp 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 um so be careful when using them Keep the lid on them. Keep them away from your kids and all that nonsense. Um, also, very cool. They sent a four-placer. And it's in the style that I like. Y'all know I love me the thin placers that I sell on my store. I literally chuck all of the other ones I get in any paintings because I, I just don't like them. I don't use them. But I love me some thin ones. And so I got me one. This is a thin four-placer. So hopefully you can kind of see that. Sorry guys, my camera is on the wrong side. Like normally my camera is on this side and today it's on this side because I had to have my charger plugged in. And so it's just kind of throwing me for a loop. So um, one thing I wanted to say really quick because I haven't done this personally because I haven't used a like, you know, cheap pen that, that uh, comes with your kits. I have, you know, acrylics and clay and all all sorts of pens <clears throat> but if you are still just using your the regular pen that you get from a kit you can um put the single placer on that side and then you can put the multi-placer right in the other end so that way it's just the same as like how my acrylic is I have my single placer on one side and my multi-placer on the other you can do the exact same thing with the pens that come um with your kit so I just wanted to kind of throw that little bit of information out there because to be honest, I didn't didn't even think of trying that for quite a while um, into my diamond painting uh, career, so to speak. Okay, we'll, we'll look at the drills here in a minute, but let's take a look 
at this canvas. Um, to start with, it, it came kind of wrinkled. So we might have some problems here. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's not horrible, but it, it's not the best either. All right, let's get into this. Ugh. I'm not a fan. The other thing I reason that I don't buy uh, paintings from a lot of these places anymore is I'm really, really not a fan of the double-sided um, adhesive anymore. I much rather prefer the, um, I don't know where in the world my knife is. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I don't know why that just came to my head, but it did. So, yeah. I'm going to grab my, um, another knife here. I should have one that's open so we don't have to open a brand new one. My goodness. Well, fiddlesticks. Here we go. I got one. I got one. All right. Here we go. All right, got that open. Close that knife, you know, safety first. Don't want to hurt myself. All right, guys. Okay. It does come on a foam roller. I won't need that anymore because I will be laying it flat. Get this piece of tape off of there. All right, so as I said, this one is fairly small. It is a 20 by 25 centimeter. Um, let's bring the camera down just the scotch, just the scotch so y'all can see um, a little bit better. Oh, my graciousness. All right. Let's bring the camera down just a little bit better here so you can see a tad better. Okay, so this one is a 20 by 25. Let's um, try to flatten it just a little bit before we really look at it. Um, Okay, so with these kits, to flatten them, it's very simple. Um, all you have to do is pull up the sides of your paper. This one happens to come, the paper comes in two pieces rather than a full one. So you just wanna lay that back down. And as you can see, this side is already flattening out. Um, it just makes it much easier to work with to look at your canvas, to work on your canvas, and all that good stuff. So we're just gonna pull this side up. We'll just go all the way over here, and then flatten it. Ugh. Yeah, I haven't had to do this in a while, you guys. Um, but to be honest, um, sometimes if you flip them over, that's where you can really look and see if there's any major obvious wrinkles, which I'm not seeing any, which that's a good thing. That's a good start. So, um, again, this is who can, it says make your photo sparkle diamond painting art, um, 20 by 25. Is that the canvas or is that the drill field? Let's see. Okay. So this is where the drill field starts right here. And it goes to 24. So not 25, goes to 24, but not bad. And that's not a huge, huge ordeal. And on this side, it goes to 19 and a half. So 19 and a half by 24. I have to say, that's not bad. That really isn't bad. To be honest, I expected when I ordered this that it was going to be a 20 by 25 canvas size not drill filled so canvas size this is a 34 and a half by 24 and a half so yeah that's a good that's good um there are 30 colors you guys in this tiny little painting 30 colors that's a lot um okay so here is the thumbnail uh, if you're new to my channel, then you might not know this yet. I am obsessed with butterflies. I love butterflies. And I love pinks and I love purples. And when I saw this, um, looking for something else, I saw this and I was like, I want it, I want it, I want it. So I decided, yes, it's who can. We're going to give it a shot and try. So I got this, like I said, got the small one. 
Um, I'm not going to take this all the way off, guys, because trust me, unless you're extra, extra special talented, then it just never goes on right. So we're just going to do that. So there is our picture of the butterfly. It's kind of hard to see, but, you know, it, that's really, it's not like... I mean, I could bring you a little bit closer into it, but I don't think that's going to really make it a big difference in what it looks like. So, yes, but I like it. Anyways, um, I really like this image and there's going to be a lot of, it looks like 939, which is a very, very, very dark brown, almost black. Um, and all of this symbol right here, which I call the pill. Here, we'll get up close there. It's up nice and close. So see the pill? All of that is going to be those 939s. Um, and in mixed in those, there's a round symbol. And all of those are the three tens. So there's going to be a lot of those. Um, and then you got your butterfly through here. Yeah, I, I'm hoping that this one turns out. I hope it looks as good as the image, the thumbnail does, because I think the thumbnail is gorgeous. So uh, that is that. And honestly, guys, I don't see, even with that wrinkledness that we had, I'm not seeing any, um, any rivers or any bubbles or anything. So that is really good. And this has sat in my house, like I said, for a while. So sometimes like temperature change will make a big difference. And so um, it has already sat in my house. So I, that's not going to probably be an issue. One thing I have found um, by a experiment that another creator on here, Mrs. Coffee, you probably know her, uh, did with the the paper cover versus the clear covers. It seems like the clear covers make a big difference in if you keep your canvases like in your closet or whatever for a while before you actually start them. If you put that clear cover on it, it seems like it just is better. Um, it lasts longer. You don't get the bubbles and the rivers and stuff like if I were to just put this away. So I'm probably going to do that. I did buy some of that clear plastic. So I'll probably cover the this with clear plastic to store it. Um, and then I'll keep the papers for when I'm working on it because I do prefer these papers for when I'm working on a canvas. So there are, like I said, there are 30 different, um, different colors. And I'm going to turn the camera and show you, I'm actually going to pull this back open just a little bit because I want to show you the drill field up close. Um, for the most part, you guys, everything is really clear. Like the symbols are nice and clear. I would use my light pad for this just because I'm so used to like, I'm an art club and stuff. However, the symbols are really clear and I'm not seeing anything that's going to cause like a drastic problem over here. Um, I mean, there are some symbols I'm not used to, but they're not like crazy or anything and nothing is so similar, um, that, that it's going to make a problem. I just don't see that. So that's another, that's another good thing. So let's go ahead and take a, a good close up. So we're this. nice and close now where you can see that drill field. Um, and it, it, like I said, guys, it is really clear. You can see very easily the symbols, um, and it just doesn't seem like there's going to be much of a problem. So I did want to just show you that so that you knew what the symbols look like. Um, and it is extremely sticky, of course. Anytime I feel like double-sided adhesive is always sticky. I've never had it not be. So, um, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at these drills. All right, we've got our drills here. Uh, let's open them up. It looks like they're already all in baggies. Now, a lot of people like using their bags, like the baggie system. I am not one of those. I don't like bags. Um, I, I don't know. They just, it, it never works out for me um, in the end. I always end up like putting it away and, and getting something else out. But if you are one of those people that like to work with the bags, then hey, you're already ready to go kit it up. 
um, which it has the number and the 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 lineup number and the DMC number. So that's good. Um, and then it, and then it says the count too on how many are in there. So let's go ahead really quickly and figure out. Make sure everything is here. So there should be thirty of them. all 30 here um when when i get a canvas you guys it's really important to go ahead and check and make sure all of the colors are there because then if you're not gonna start this like i'm not gonna be starting this one right now so um i don't want to come back let's say in a year six months or a year later um and find that i don't have all of the colors i need i want to know that now that way let's say i'm missing the four and 22 that way i can contact the company and say hey i'm missing these colors can you please send them out um then they will do that if you contact them in a year from now they might be like you're who and you want what so it's always a good idea you guys just to make sure to check your inventory so okay that is all for this one let's go ahead oh first of all um, I did look at these drills and so far so good like right now um, Let's see if you all can see they look pretty dang good. They're pretty uniform um, When I say uniform, I mean like they all look the same and in size and height and all that good stuff There's I don't see any dimples. I don't see any knobbly bits on the sides like they look pretty darn good um, and honestly, if you're gonna have a problem, it's gonna be these black ones. Let's just dump them out, actually. Let's take a, let's just take a little peek -see at these three tens. Um, yeah, if you're gonna have a problem with a color, it's gonna be like your, your three tens, your 939s, because those ones are, they're just so mass produced that they tend to have the most problems. So, checking if you're, you know, if you wanna check drills on a company, Checking those colors, the darker colors that are more common, um, are are the way to go. Okay, so I'm gonna look in here, and I'm actually fairly impressed by them because I let me tell you, I have had some bad drills from who can guys. Like I've thrown canvases away because of the bad drills. Now. Is there a little trash in there? Yes, but that's normal. That's normal. Um, so yeah, they all, they look pretty good. They look, like I said, they look pretty uniform. I'm not seeing any major knobbly bits. I'm not seeing any major dimples or anything. Um, they've got some nice sparkle to them. So as of right now, I'm gonna say thumbs up. But I never say that for sure um, about anybody until I've actually done the painting. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see. There are a lot of people who swear by who can. Um, and then there are other people who have, like me, have had bad experiences and just, you know, don't, don't trust them entirely. And so, but because they have said they've worked on it and made it better, I always like to give second and third chances, but I always do it with small canvases so um that i'm not stuck doing this huge canvas uh in you know <sighs> okay let's go to the next one okay so i was originally um i had something else that i thought was a diamond painting and it wasn't uh so that is going to be in a separate video so this one i also got um and so i just decided you know what i'm going to add this to the video uh, so that it's got a little more than just that one little tiny who can. Um, so this is a Tin Me Arts. Um, I got it on Amazon. And yeah, they kind of squished it like beyond squished. Look at this. I mean, come on, guys. What's going on with them? Seriously. Okay, so here's the thumbnail right here. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. My mom loves hummingbirds. Like, yeah, obsessed with hummingbirds. She has hummingbirds everything. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I need to get this for my mama. Um, I ordered it for her for Mother's Day. But because of everything right now um, going on, it, it took 
forever to get here. I just got it. So I kind of showed her a picture and said, hey, this is what you're going to be getting. Um, okay, so here it is, guys. It is not just a diamond painting. The cool, cool thing about this is this is a decorative pillow. Yes, I said it right. A decorative pillow. Is that not cool? So this is the pillow case. You obviously have to buy the pillow. Um, and this one, I think it's an 18 inch pillow. And you can go to any, um, so it's a 16 inch pillow. And you can go to your craft store and just get a plain 16 inch pillow um, and slip it on in here when you're done. And, and that's it. Very awesome idea. I love it so much. Um, I already put like a plain diamond painting on a bag and I thought, hey, I could actually do that on a pillow as well. Uh, but then I saw this and it's like, it's already done. So why not just get it? So I did. So the other cool thing, the back is just a plain pillowcase, but it's still like a fancier kind of material. It's not just like plain. It's It's got like flowery um, aspect to it and it's like an ivory color it's not plain black or plain white so it's not gonna look as dirty you know as fast I think it's beautiful though isn't it so it is a partial obviously and you if you look at it the drill field is the bird itself and the flower uh, everything else is just the background like I said it's a partial so let's just see really quick how um, ooh, sticky this is. I'm not going to pull it all the way up because I don't want to because I'm not working on this quite yet. So let's just pull it up a little bit. Okay, yes, it's very, very sticky, you guys. Ooh, very sticky. Um, yeah, your drills are going to stick to this beautifully. Um, I would recommend after doing it that you seal it since this is going to be something that's going to be like sitting out on your couch and it's going to be, you know, handled. People are going to pick it up and want to look at it and figure what are these? So my suggestion is to seal it. I will be sealing this when I'm done. So I will do a video on how to do that and still have it look good and work really, really well. Um, but it is beautiful. I think it's going to turn out beautiful. I love it. So let's look really quick. It comes with some instructions. So just in case you need those, they are there. Um, it does come with your, your, your plain, like a lot of people, I think it's called pumpkin spice kit, which is just a plain old kit. You got a drill, pen, a piece of wax, a, a green boat, and like two baggies. Okay, that's, yeah. Not, not much there. Then you've got your inventory list. This has 26 colors. So there's quite a few colors for this. Um, it's pretty confetti, I'd have to say. I didn't expect it to be, but it is. But it's such a small area that it don't bug me. It don't, it's, it's respectable enough. Um, all of the, the symbols themselves, I'm just looking really quickly. Yeah, all the symbols are very, very normal and going to be very easy to read. Nothing weird or confusing, um, going on there. The other cool thing about this is I can just put this through my sticker maker if I want to. Stick them on my little storage containers and I'm ready to go there. I don't have to have any labels or anything like that. So, um, and then the drills, they are round drills. Let's take a peek. It's like a quick peek see, make sure everything's here. All of them and the only one that we are missing is 141 which is the white um which is yeah just the white ab's so i have plenty of those and so that's not a problem if you haven't seen them these are square but they look the same here we go you can take a gander at those 
See how beautiful those are? Yes. Okay, so I will just use my own, but I will contact them and let them know just so that they're aware of, you know, of what happened. But everything else is here. Everything else looks really good. I'm very, very excited to get this one done for my mom. Um, I'll probably work on it just a little bit here and there while working on the other ones as well. But that is all I have for you today. Uh, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful rest of your Thursday. And don't forget, as always, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and you are definitely loved more than you know. So with that, keep on shining, and I'll see you, Nate. See you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.